Let's see why he says he changed his mind. All right, I'm going to go down to um, halfway through this article. He says this, I used to be far more trusting of the police and far less willing to credit critiques of cops. I grew up in the law and order tradition of the Republican Party, and it took me a long time before I could see what was plain to countless Americans who experienced the criminal justice system up close. Racism and improper pro-police bias are far more prevalent in American law and culture than I wanted to believe. One of the most viral pieces I've ever written chronicled my own journey on race issues more broadly. One that was deeply personal and painful, full of shame and regret. In that piece, I asked readers to be better than me. Don't wait for racism to touch your family before you believe the testimony of your American brothers and sisters. So you just got to believe that you know, racism is systemic. It's happening and it's on these levels that we need to just re-transform our whole society right now. I mean, it's the CRT stuff, right? And that what is what brings me to another topic. My flip-flop. So this is key. And that, what's the that? His... his change on racial issues he's he changed on racial issues all right he changed he adopted the crt approach the critique of american culture he adopted a little bit of critical theory on the race stuff and now that brings him to my flip-flop on civil marriage i emphasize the word civil because my view on religious nature of marriage has not changed hold on hold on hold on hold on i thought he said in 10 years ago that the Christians, the MLK civil rights people, the true authentic Christians like he is and like evangelicals are who oppose same-sex marriage, that were they were the ones for the civil rights stuff and they were for racial justice. Well, now he's saying that actually he wasn't really for racial justice back then. It took some time. And then he really got woke to it is what happened. He got, he got woke to the racial disparities. And now that he got woke to the racial disparities, He's more in favor of adopting same-sex marriage on the civil level. Isn't that interesting? I, I find it fascinating because this is the journey that a lot of people go from. This is the trajectory I most often see in Southern Baptist circles. They go from, I'm not woke, to, well, I'm woke on racial stuff now, to now, um, well, I'm, I'm now flirting around with maybe the LGBT stuff isn't so bad. And the Me Too stuff, you know, they usually that's the next one. And then the LGBT, that's usually the, the trajectory. But declaring that religious belief is not the same thing as declaring civil law. Outside of most hardcore integrationists and dominionists, there is broad and wise consensus that importing divine standards, uh, whole cloth into civil law can be a recipe for division, oppression, and ultimate harm of the church itself. Our nation possesses an establishment cause for a reason. So he's making... This is, again, against the Christian nationalism stuff. He, what he's doing is he's saying that, like, diversity pluralism those are the highest goods so as as long as uh everyone is doing what they want and, and everyone's happy then that should be fine but he would have never said this about the 1960s he would have never said well you know as long as the segregationists can make peace with the uh <laughs> with the civil rights movement i mean that, that should be fine he would never would have said that but he's saying uh about this particular issue that the highest good is on a civil level to adopt secularism and it you know it's really dangerous it, it it causes problems when you adopt this religious nature of marriage on a civil level you shouldn't do that well i'd like to suggest he has no moral authority anymore none i mean what is marriage It's an institution of heaven it's an institution of god he made them male and female man shall leave his father and mother cleave to his wife two shall become one this is god what god has ordained let no man separate <laughs> you ever heard that when you're at a at a, a ceremony, I mean, this is Western culture, this is Christian culture, and it's because God ordained marriage. David French, I think, has already just thrown that all out.